how to use mail merge to send bulk email messages in Outlook. Good day, folks. Welcome. I'm going to show you a very, very cool feature on Microsoft Outlook and using the uh, Microsoft Word program as well. We're going to send bulk messages. There's an awesome feature. So let's jump straight in. We're going to go in now from um, your Outlook app. Um, we are not going to do anything here just yet. We're going to go over to your Microsoft Word. Now, just a note, this will not work on the web application. So if you're using Outlook or if you're using Microsoft Word on your web application, this will not work. So in the actual app that you download for your device, this is where you go. In the top, you have your toolbar and you're going to go ahead and look for mailings. Now, once you're in mailings, you can go ahead and look for third from the left, start mail merge, and you're going to tap on that. Now, over here, you can choose from letters, email messages, envelopes, labels, directories, um, just a regular Word document. And then we're going to go ahead and tap on the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. Now, the reason we use this is because it takes you through the steps and it helps you to understand the process and you can do it in six easy steps. So the first step involves choosing what exactly it is right over here that you actually are wanting to send. So on the right hand side, there is a toolbar that's opened up and you have some options. And of course, we're going to send an email message. So once you've selected what you're going to send, we're going to go ahead and tap on next right at the bottom under the step one of six. We are going to now start um, selecting the documents. So right over here, you can use your current document, which is this document that you're seeing here. You can start a document from a template or you can start from an existing document. So you can actually import if you tap on that. You can go ahead and you can also select a template. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the current document and I've actually prepared something over here. And this is just for example purposes, but this is what your email will look like now. So the next thing we want to go and do is tap on next right at the bottom of the page on the right hand side. We are going to now select our recipients. Again, there's many ways to do this. So you can use an existing list. So if you have an existing list on Microsoft Outlook, you can use that. You can select from Outlook contacts. So that means selecting individual recipients. And then you can type a completely new list um, right over there. So whichever one you go ahead and decide to use, it is um, it doesn't actually matter. So I'm going to go ahead and just use an existing list. And over here, if I say use an existing list, I can now tap on browse and I can actually look for um, this existing list. So I'm going to just locate this. And now I have imported this list. And again, just for example purposes, it only has one contact on it, but you can put as many contacts as you need into here. So you can actually create a new um, context right in over here. So you can just go ahead and uh, you can create new contacts just right in over here. So I'm just going to tap on OK and we have a contact list. We're going to go now to the bottom of the page again. We're going to tap on next. And here you can write your email message. If you've not already done so, you can write your email message now. So basically what's going to happen here is you can start um, making sure that this email um, is actually personalized. So this is how we're going to go about it. You can see over here it says, hey there, and we're going to tap in. Um, merge field. So right on your toolbar over here, still under mailing, you're going to go over and look for insert merge fields and you're going to tap on that. So it says, hey there, and now you can tap on the first name. Let's give it a space and you can open the insert merge fields again, and you're going to now tap on surname. You can now completely customize this so that each and every single mail that is being sent out is being sent to however many contacts that is on that list and it is now personalized so if you have a thousand people it will say hey there and every single mail will be addressed to the actual recipient once you've done that you're going to go ahead and you can if you want to add any more information in over here you can tap on insert merge field again and you can see that there is a ton of um, information that you can actually uh, use to put in there so uh, once you've done that you can go over now to the bottom right again and we're going to tap on next so in this um fifth 
step we get to preview our email and uh, you can see over here on the right hand side it says recipient and it does only say one but here you can basically scroll through the recipients and um, this is basically what your email looks like so it says hey there Bob Sinclair and if you tap on the next button or the back button it'll scroll through every one of those emails so you can just double check that that name is actually correct in every one of those emails so once you've sort of you know um reviewed this email you can still make changes of course uh, but once you're done you're going to go over to the next button on the bottom right and you're going to tap on complete the merge and over here it says mail merges ready to produce your email messages so underneath merge over here there's an electronic mail button you're going to tap on that the first thing over here is on this window you're going to see there is a two and of course we're sending it to an email address right and if that's not selected you can just use the drop down menu and here you can put in your subject line so you can just put in um, whatever it is that you need to put in your subject line and then we've got an email format now the email format can be either an attachment a plain text or an HTML now HTML is what we use as a basic this is the format that it's currently in and that's what we write basic emails in you also have send records so you can either tap on all current record or from a number or a value and then to a value and once this is done you can go ahead and tap on OK now what happens over here basically in Microsoft Word is all of this now um, is being sent to all your contacts and of course it'll take some time for these uh, mails to be sent you can go over now into Microsoft Outlook and if you go into your um, outbox or your sent files you will actually see um, your sent files now obviously this has not yet um, refreshed but you will see it either in your sent files or you will see it in your um, in your drafts and there we go, folks. That's how you can use that mail merge feature in um, the Microsoft Office package. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. We'd love to actually hear from you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.